Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you how I catalog all of my colors for everything that is from the brand um, Ranger. So keep that in mind. Everything that you're going to see here has to do with Ranger. They are not paying me or sponsoring this video. I have purchased uh, everything that you see here with my own money. But anyways, let's get to it. This is one of the things that I get asked about the most and it is how I organize all of my samples for my, um, the colors that I have for all of the products from the Ranger brand. And you can tell here that I use a Rolodex type of system and it isn't the brand Rolodex. It is by Heidi Swap, and I got it off of Amazon. I will try to remember to to uh, post links in the description and I have taken the time to swatch every single color of everything that I own from the Ranger brand and I catalog it right here so that I can see what the true colors are for everything. I recently received a very generous gift from my friend Jennifer. Thank you so much Jennifer. She sent me, I believe it was 12 uh, full size distress ink pads because I don't have all of them yet. I am trying to get the full collection but slowly you know we'll get there and I figure it would be a great time to go through my process of how I do this. So these sheets right here that you see I got them from the Ranger website and they are free and they have holes all over them because I have already cataloged everything else besides these 12 inks so I do not throw them away because I am going to need them for the future when I end up getting um, more colors so I do two of the color names per distress ink or if I was doing the oxides it still would be two labels so I am cutting them and it is a little bit time consuming but you know what it's worth it I only have to do it once and I'm showing you here how I do it on the fire brick um, distress ink pad. And right here is how um, I sort of start organizing. Right there is the Rolodex, what is it called? Memory Dex pad and a little label. We're going to need that as well. And I am going to show you here how I make that label. This right here is a label maker punch that I got at Hobby Lobby when they have all of their punches for 40% off and it's really easy all i do is just punch the holes punch the labels out and that's it and i keep them in that little container so for whenever i need them for future uses so that's what i use for that now for the little memory dex card the measurements for it oh wait actually you're gonna need that punch by heidi swap that i got at um, amazon and it measures four and a quarter by two and three quarters so i get a piece of cardstock white and i cut my piece of cardstock to be that size so four and a quarter by two and three quarters like you see right there and then i have marked my memory dex punch so that i know exactly where it needs to be do you see that washi tape right there that's just me being lazy because I don't like to kind of have to eyeball where the exact center is. So I took the time to do that a while ago. Then I grab a corner punch to round those corners. Completely optional step, but I feel like it looks nicer that way. And you have your memory dex card. So here's how we go about it. Each, um, each new product, Ranger product, is going to need two labels so here i believe this is rusty hinge i am doing right now i am trying to get the uh no it's wild honey my bad my bad <laughs> yes wild honey and i will get two labels this part is not sped up at all i wanted you all to see exactly how long it takes because it is sort of a time consuming process but at this point, I am committed. Everything has been um, put into my Rolodex. Then you need one of the little 
label tabs in your little um, memory dex card. So the first step is going to be to fit one of the labels so that it fits inside that um, tab. Yeah, glue it onto that. Then the second, well, we're not to that point yet. Then I am going to swatch the color of the ink pad directly from the ink pad onto my memory dex card. Now I am going to glue my tab onto the right corner. And there is a reason for that, but hold on. I am gonna use, um, what are these called? Stapler, because I don't have the patience to wait for that glue to dry, so I staple it after I glue it. So the second label goes on the side of the ink pad. All right. And like I was saying, there is a reason why the label, um, the tab goes on the right side of the memory dex card. And it's because I know how my system works. All of the labels that are on the right, that means that those are distress inks. If the labels on the memory dex card are in the center, those are distress oxides. And if they are on the left side, those are sprays. So here I am just kind of showing you super quick how I go about doing a few more. And once you do a few of them, it definitely goes a lot quicker. So I prepare all of my ink pads at once. I die cut, well not die cut, I fussy cut um, the labels, put them on top of the ink pad, put a tab and then the memory dex card. And then from there, I start gluing. So gluing the tab, gluing the name of the label on the ink pad, and then I'm swatching it directly onto the card. I prefer to do this on the white part of my glass mat because that way I can see if I didn't clean that area good enough because yes, I do um, like to wipe that glass area in between colors. I do not wanna contaminate uh, my ink pads. So I use a little bit of water. Now the next one is, what color is that? Uh, worn lipstick. And I swatch it a few times so that I can get the true color of it. And I don't mind that some areas look a little washed out because I feel like that gives me more of a realistic look of what I can look forward to. Pine needles, this is such a pretty color. And it's pretty repetitive from this moment on. Use the stapler so that I don't have to wait. Hopefully this is the last one that I'm showing and then I will get to the very end of it. Very, very easy, very repetitive. It is a little bit costly at first to get all of this stuff. If you already have a Rolodex type of system, then you don't have to purchase that. But I did have to buy mine. I think it cost me $20 and then the punch for the memory dex cards was 15 or something along those lines and the punch for the tabs oh how much was that I do not remember at all but I got it at Hobby Lobby and it was 40% off whatever the price is so if you go every other week you're able to take advantage of that deal so that way I don't have to buy labels or anything. I can just make my own stuff. Maybe I didn't cut anything out. Sorry, you guys. You're stuck seeing this. All right. There we go. Now down to the last color, which is Broken China. Just gluing my labels again thank you so much to my friend Jennifer she sent me her doubles for the ink pads and I am um, thankful is an understatement all right here I am getting ready to place them in my Rolodex so before I do that I am uh, putting them in like rainbow order so that they're easy to find their place and I don't really like 
try too hard, um, like putting them alphabetical in there, it doesn't matter. I will just find the color that they need to be in and that's where I'll place them. And I love this system because I am able to see the true colors for everything even when I am using the same color in let's say Distress Inks and Oxides like right here. They're the same name but they look completely different. So yeah, very easy to make, very easy to keep up with after you have finished with your cataloging. And that is where my Rolodex lives. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little video and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you everybody. Bye.